Hello, welcome back to this video, a little follow up from the containers from last time. Very um, great comment here from Evil Genius. Genius comment, blueprint actor for the light. Uh, I'm not striking it, <laughs> I'm just highlighting it here. You can uh, build a blueprint and then you can affect the mold because I said in the last video that you, we can do instances in Unreal uh, for those of you who know what that means, uh, max users. And that was a brilliant idea to do the blueprints. And in fact, I have done it in the past. So what's the problem quickly again here? I've um, copied all these lights and the only way to really edit them is to uh, select them all. And then I guess also here, if I make a change to one, for example, I'll change the attenuation slightly. And then now if I select them all, here it says multiple values. So I can't really kind of edit that. And then if I want to edit them all, I can open this uh, selection matrix, blah, 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 but we're not going to get into that. We are going to uh, see how we can make that with a blueprint. So I'll actually just select them all and turn them all off at once. I mean, I kind of, you know, that's fine, but uh, there is a better way. So in order to do that, we're going to build a little blueprint the simplest blueprint ever, because uh, I'm not kind of an expert at blueprints by any means. So uh, here in the whatever meshes folder, we're going to import a little light that I have with my amazing uh, modeling skills that I've created here uh, using just a, a a normal little poly mesh and using Tom's script still forever in my 3ds Max. I'm actually going to export this as a um, mesh that's got its pivot kind of all in the right place. And uh, I'll just select it straight, send it to Unreal. And we've got it here. And this should theoretically come in automatically, which is really cool. So import yes. And now we have a light. Woohoo. Very cool. And so we've got this light. I'm going to create uh, the simplest material ever called self illumination, self illuminated material. We'll have um, that material created uh, shading model as unlit because we just want the emissive. And we're going to make the most complicated uh, operation ever. And I'll stop saying that because that's just going to happen a lot. Convert to parameter. I've pressed three on my keyboard. So press and hold down three to create a color or you can drag a constant three vector from down here. Same thing. Right click on that, say convert to parameter and we'll call that color. And here we are going to make it white for now and connect all that together. Press save and here with our uh, light mesh selected, we will drag that straight onto here. So now we have a self illuminated little material. We'll keep the material open because we are going to make some changes to that. Now in here we can actually let's just make a subfolder. We'll call that light light. There we go. And we'll put all that stuff in there, move there. And we are going to create a blueprint blueprint class. There we go actor. And we'll call that BP underscore light BP for blueprint. So we can drag that straight into the scene. And we've got our little uh, sphere and BP light here. And those are going to be our instances. Actually, I'll close the self illuminated material. We'll come back to it shortly. So we have now our BP light. So if we open it, then what we can do is drag our light mesh in there. And so if I press F in here, is that going to work? Yes, 
there it is our light mesh and then so the next thing we want to do is add a component here and we'll type spotlight so we can bring a spotlight in here unfortunately it's facing uh, the wrong way so with our angle snap selected here I'll use the rotate tool and if I can manage to grab that rotate tool we'll rotate it down like that and now if I press compile and save you see that we have a light it doesn't seem to be shining much though so that's because the light is stuck inside our mesh so we'll take the glow uh move tool not glow tool we'll get that to that in a sec and we'll move that down slightly and boom now we have the light excellent compile save and so now if i press the g key we should have uh, basically our glowing light so let's go back to our self illuminated material now with the color selected uh, I'll actually be a bit cheeky here in the value we'll go above one we'll press two and uh, press ok see what that does anything not yet so let's go a little bit higher as in 50 there we go and sometimes you've got to make bold moves and add a color like a warm color all right so that now gives us our glowing light which is reflected in the real uh, time ray trace reflections by the way which is quite cool so now okay we have our blueprint and i can now go and place it uh, where it needs to be okay Okay, and I'll make a copy up here and another copy up here. So we should have our, uh, oh, it looks like I missed one. I'll hide the other ones. And here we go. Great, one, two, three. All right, so now I can uh, press the Alt and Shift key to move these into place here. And again, Alt and Shift key, I'll copy those two batches at once. And then the fun will start when we can edit. So I'll get rid of these last three. And now if we go back to that position over there, we can now edit all of this in real time. So I will go back to get uh, the original blueprint here, BP light. Oh, well, I've got it open already. And here we are able to change uh, the settings of the light. So 5,000, that seems to be quite a lot. I'll go and see if I can do it. Candelas, there we go. So that's what we had before, 160 in candelas. And then we can change the temperature. And as you can see, that's all editing uh, perfectly in sync without anything selected. I'll make a little select all of these guys and put that in bp underscore light and here we go we have our instanced lights uh, working really well uh, here with um, very very minimal uh, time to set that up um, very very cool so uh, I hope that was useful. I'll play actually a little bit more because now you can, uh, so I'll just show a couple more things going while we're here. So yeah, if we've got in conjunction the sky, 
which is here. And now we have our tint for the sky. So this is all happening, obviously, in real time. And our tint for the um, blueprint. And if that isn't creative freedom, then what is? Put it back to what uh, maybe the idea was at the beginning, cool and warm. So um, great. Well, I thought, I uh, hope that was useful. And please uh, let me know what you think. Uh, and if you are uh, interested in learning this, if all <laughs> this looks cool, but it's complete gobbledygook, gook, um, please register to go and watch the free webinar, which uh, with a link below the video, and where I teach you for a good hour and a half, completely for free, where, how to get started from scratch on a very small scene. This one's a little bit bigger than I would advise if you're just getting started. Although, uh, you know, it depends if you've known this uh, kind of thing before, if you uh, should be pretty easy to pick up. All right. Well, have a great um, weekend and Christmas period, festive periods, as we say, and uh, I'll see you all very soon.